morning, fishing family and friends. I hope everyone's doing awesome. Oh, wow, I look a little crazy right now. I kind of covered up a lot coming down here to the pudding this morning because I guess from rain or whatever, the vegetation is thicker than normal. And I didn't want to have a stray tick land on me, so I went ahead and just put on my jacket and my hood to trek through everything. And apparently I should have duct taped my tripod because the Gorilla Glue didn't work. As soon as I put the phone on the tripod, it fell off of there. So it's gonna be a little bit harder than normal filming today, but I'm gonna do my best with what I got, which is no tripod. So in other words, I have nothing. <laughs> um, I am just gonna leave my tripod over here with my rope in hopes that when I come back, it's still there. Um, yeah, so I'm at one of my favorite streams this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch some bait here down by the bridge. And I'm gonna work my way upstream today. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go pretty far before I actually start fishing because I'm trying to get to a new stretch of water. Well, I'll start filming whenever I actually really start getting into fishing. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and work on catching bait and trying to figure out what I'm gonna do to use the camera today. Seems like there's some life going on over here. Just to blade while I can. To get past this stretch, it's a pretty long deep hole. I will definitely have to keep in control of the kayak while fishing, so I'll try to fish here for a second. Hopes I can get my first bite, to say the least. I'll catch fish real soon. This is starting to look really bad. Catch something. I think we got our first fish, y'all. Fish on. Fish on. Not sure what we got. Something small. Wow, it's a little tiny, it's got a, might be a little tiny spot right there. Well, yeah, it's a baby spotted bass. I guess that's a start. That's a start. It's really than saying I've caught nothing. All right, first fish on today. Seems like a little happy fish. All right. Letting them go. Just to spot this. A few more minutes. I'm moving along. Got a long stretch of deep water here. And I won't be able to be on my legs like I am now. Wow. Soon as I say I'm gonna tune in when I catch a fish, I cast out and I catch a little smallmouth and there was a bigger one following him. Behind. He was following behind him, so I'm probably gonna try to catch him next. When they bleed like that, it's not a good sign. So I heard a fish today. So I gotta sleep on that now. I don't lose sleep over many things, but an injured fish, especially of that size, any size. Yeah, that's my heart. Got this one. Got one. Got one. He's got a little drag to him. What? Oh my gosh. Wow, there's a lot of small ones hanging out through here today, isn't there? 
So he's got to fight for a little guy. Oh. Smalley number three. Small Smalley number three. Small Smalley number three here. Bye, little guy. I like the times where catching the great majority of big fish. Because right now, the size of the fish I've caught today, pretty shameful. I haven't caught one big fish. It's just so sad. What is going on? Big fish are somewhere. They're somewhere. I'm gonna catch him. Fish on, yes. Now this is a bigger fish. I hope I got that on camera. That motherfucker just too big. Oh, excuse my language, but yeah. He's pulling the kayak, which means definitely a bigger guy. <laughs> Show yourself. Taking me for a freaking ride. Oh, he's huge. Dodging my net. Come on. Get over here. Yeah, he put up a fight. Um, as you can tell, I still haven't got a new landing net. My landing net's awful. Oh, he's heavy. He's girthy. We're going to measure him. Definitely not a trophy. Oh, shoot. We don't want to lose the fishing pole. Don't be catching too many fish without this. Hey, don't be biting me now. He's a biter. I hooked him right on the roof of, roof of the mouth. This could have been ugly head. I pinned him any deeper than that. But I want to get an exact measurement. Yeah, he's 18 inches. Nice one. Nice 18 inch right here. Nice 18 inch. Definitely a respectable fish if I don't accidentally murder him. Okay, we're gonna let you go, buddy. All right, bye, fishy. Whew, I feel bad when they swallow so like that because that means that they're wore out pretty bad. Well, yeah, he wore me out pretty bad. I don't think the camera was rolling when I caught this guy. 17 and a half inches, 2.8 pounds. I'm very sad the camera was not rolling on this fish. I suck at filming, but I gotta let him go. All right. This is a hole that hasn't been fished this year, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's anything in it. Some nice deep water, there's a nice rock over there. Fish this for a few minutes before I continue on upstream because 
I'm trying to cover the creek today, even if that means catching less fish because of it. So far we have five smallies, one spotted bass. Let's see what we can find. It'd be great to catch me a fish. part of the creek I haven't covered this year. Current's moving pretty quick over here. But I've caught in some I've caught some nice smallmouth out of fast moving currents like this, so can't count the currents out. See? Got one. Oh, he took off with the... Ooh, he got off. See, that's one thing about the current fish. They're at an advantage to get away. But they got the current pulling at the bait, so he got him a free meal. Maybe he'll come back up for some more. We'll see. Maybe he'll come back up and get another one. Now, there might even be more than one hanging out over here. We'll see. See if I can hook this next one to where it's tighter. If this doesn't work out for me. I think someone would come up out from under that rock. But there's a slow pocket moving of water right alongside the other side of this current that I might can throw into. There's one on now. He feels decent. Well, it's hard to judge when they're coming out of the current like this. Wow. They keep getting off. The current fish keep getting away from me. It's hard to hook them in that fast moving water. But they're biting over here for sure. I see two smallmouth, I see three smallmouth right in front of me right now. See some type of big sucker fish. He's huge. Yeah, there's definitely life in this part of the stream. It's just hooking them. Why am I having such a hard time hooking these fish? I really need to dig the hook into them and leave it. Let's see, here we go. this way that on to real good because got this one it's not that big but he's bigger than some of the other ones I had earlier huh here's our smally friend They always swim towards me. Got one. Gotta hold that sucker on there tight. There's a ton of them. They, they're just fighting for the minnows. Say bye to our little fishy friend. Oh my gosh. I am playing myself. Okay, we 
got a respectable, feels like a respectable sized fish. Yeah, nice. There's a smallie. Got a smallie chasing behind him. Oh, he ain't giving up, is he? Come on. That's pretty respectable size. Smallie right here. Well, not really. Oh, he in the grass. Hey! You practically just landed yourself then, buddy. You ran into the kayak. Wow. Yeah, he's nice and long. Oh, a nice long fish. Let's release him. Bye, crazy fish. Whew. Well, I had to cut the camera to save filming for some of these other holes, but I'm still pulling fish out of this current, and this is a pretty respectable sized fish, and they're like putting on a show, because they're literally a bunch down there right now, and they're fighting for them. They're fighting for the bait, and it's just it's like entertainment for my soul. Uh, soul tainment here. So, I'm gonna roll the camera and throw it out there again and see if I can get the fish to do what this guy did on his way up. It was fun. Alright. Bye. Look how lovely this is. There's a spring coming in over here. It's a nice little waterfall, spring water. I fished this spot before last year and caught a couple, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. Couple feet away from where I was standing in the water fishing, this little, this little largemouth was hanging out. So I pitched in front of him, and what do you know? He couldn't resist. I just love messing with these little largemouths because when they see they see that thing right in front of them, they go for it. Hey, bye, little guy. I was just about to move on from this spot too. Hey there, fishing family and friends. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch part one to my vlog. I got a lot of great footage that day and it ended up being 40 minutes, so I had to break it down into two parts. So here within the next few days, I'll drop part two to this vlog and it will be just as exciting. The past few fishing trips that I've gotten in the past few weeks have been great. A lot of exciting stuff has happened. And I tell you what, there's not too much that fishing can't cure. So if you're feeling down, try fishing. It's great. Well, I really appreciate you guys taking time out to watch the video. And I look forward to the next adventure.